Hey everyone, welcome to a new video. So in today's video, I'm gonna be showing you how to set up your event list or activity stream um, on your live stream via Streamlabs OBS. Now I'll quickly show you how to do it if you want to just launch it as a browser source and utilize just OBS. So if you're not using Streamlabs OBS, I'll show you quickly how to do that. It's fairly simple. So an event list is what you see here above my webcam. Basically when someone subscribes or follows or donates, all of that will come up in the event list. Now I have a custom one here that I've purchased from an external website. Yours will not look like this natively. You will need to custom you know, design it if that's what you want it to look like. But if we go over to the Streamlabs website and we launch Log in, and then right here under widgets, you're gonna see something that says event list. This is going to show you and take you to the place where you can design your event list. Now, as you can tell, I've already had one here designed for me, but I'm gonna go ahead and disable custom uh, HTML and CSS, and this is what it natively looks like. It looks like basically you just have a, a single color and you can test it and, and, and that kind of thing. So if we go here, we can see that we can have uh, you know donations, subscribers, members, followers, all of that in our event list. So if we go back over here to Streamlabs OBS, I'm going to show you exactly what yours is going to look like. So I'm going to go ahead now and disable the custom code. And now you can see it looks like here. So basically when someone follows, when someone donates, it's going to come up into a, a nice little list for you. So people can see, you know, when they host, when they donate, when they follow, subscribe, whatever it may be, they can see that within here. Now within Streamlabs OBS, basically you can just add this directly from the widgets tab. So basically Basically, if I go down here and I go to a scene that does not have an event list like this one here, uh, basically all I need to do is go to add right here under sources and then under widgets on Streamlabs OBS, you're going to see something here that says event list. It's going to show you what that looks like over on the right side. It's going to show you exactly what it's going to show and then click add source. Now, I already have one here. It says, you know, I can add the event list that I already have, but I'm gonna go ahead and show you guys exactly what you need to do. So go ahead and give your event list a name under the source, and then go to add new source. Then it's going to show you what that event list is going to look like. Once you have all of that ready to go, you then need to go in here and start designing how you want your event list to look. Now, we can increase the amount of events. So if we want it to be three, we can, you know, it'll show three. If we want it to show, say, five, it'll show five. I found two to three to be about the amount of screen real estate that I want it to take up. So I, you know, I normally have mine set to two, but again, you can play around with this if that's something you want to change. Also, it, let's say you're a bigger streamer, you're getting a lot of follows, you're getting a lot of things like that. Maybe you only want it to show subscriptions or donations. You know, again, you can uncheck whatever you don't want it to show here in the enable events section here. All of this can be changed over on the Streamlabs uh, website as well underneath the widget. And I can show you that here shortly as well. Now, the next thing you're going to see is font settings. Now, font settings are going to be where you basically uh, tell it what color you want the font to be. So if you want the color to be white of your font, you can change that here. Uh, you can also change the font size. So if you want to increase the size of the font to make it look a little bigger, so we'll do that for the purposes of this tutorial, and then the actual font uh, typeface as well. This is going to be basically the type of font that you use. So if you have a font that you like, you can choose it here. Otherwise, choose one that's very legible. It's very easy to read. And then once you're done with your fonts there, go ahead and go to the next section, which is visual settings. Now under visual settings, the, the line here, which is going up and down, you're able to choose the color that you want to choose. So if you want a lighter green color or a blue color or a red, you can do so by selecting the different colors here to make it look the way that you want to look. Now under theme, you're gonna see that it says stripes. Now, normally what I would do is just choose a solid color. It looks cleaner, it looks better, but maybe you want the crisscross design. Again, it makes it look a little different, makes it look a little unique. For the purposes of this video, I'm going to go with solid, just like that there. Once you have everything done, don't worry about background color, leave that there. The animation is going to be next. So as you can see, it's kind of bouncing in. You can change that to be a flash. So instead of bouncing in, it'll just flash. That's kind of strange to be honest. Or you can do a pulse animation. All of these different animations are different. I like the pulse, that's actually very nice. And then you can change the animation speed. So if you you know increase the speed, it's going to, you know, 
happen quicker if you decrease it and add more uh, animation transition time there it's going to be a lot slower i normally keep that around 750 500 to 750 again that's up to you fade time to zero i really don't ever want mine to fade i want it to show at all times if you do however want yours to fade you can increase this here to make them fade after so long again it just brings attention to the person that's actually doing the action on your stream so i wouldn't recommend adjusting that uh, at all now once you're ready uh, what i do is i always click the green done button in the lower right hand corner and just like any source that you add to a scene within streamlabs obs you're able to drag and drop wherever you want it. As you see here, you can increase or decrease the size of the event list. So let's say I want it to be right around here above my webcam. I can do that there. And now, as you can see, as people go and they follow, as people donate, you're going to see that come up here. And if I want to, I can go to test widgets. Let's test a subscriber. Go ahead and have someone subscribe. And then basically what will happen is you will see that there. So if we go to event list, double click that, go to test widget there. And then we move this over a little bit, go to test donation. You'll see there now that comes up in the list right there. Now, if you do purchase a custom design, which is what I've done. So if I enable custom code here, you're going to see that I have a custom code uh, that basically has a, a event list that I like that is basically, you know, it looks better to me. I purchased this from nerdordie.com. I'll have the link in the description if that's something that maybe you're interested in, but it works the same way. Basically, it just looks a little better. It looks a little cleaner and you have a signified design or look specifically for your stream. Uh, so once you've got your event list here, we can now bounce back over to Streamlabs uh, OBS. And as you can see, it's going to look the same here. Um, and you can do all of these things that I showed you within Streamlabs OBS within the Streamlabs website as well. Now, once you're done, make sure you hit save settings. Now, if you're using OBS and not Streamlabs OBS, you'll need to launch and copy the widget URL. You all know how to do that. Basically, you copy the URL, you hop back over to OBS, you create a source that is a browser source, you paste it in there, and that's going to bring the event list over to your Streamlabs OBS. Now, there's a lot of things you can do. You can do merch with this. You can do members from YouTube, uh, donations, super chats, all of that directly within Streamlabs. And it's going to give you a nice clean look. If we go here to my main scene, so let's go to this main scene here within Streamlabs OBS. As you can see here, right here, when people donate or follow, it's going to show up in my event list here. Now, if I go to test widgets and then I test, say, a sponsor like this here, boom, my uh, notification is going to come up and then it's going to show a member here in my actual event list. Hopefully this was helpful. If it was, please, please, please like the video, share it with your friends, family, whoever you think could find this useful. Uh, also guys, don't forget if you want to follow me on Twitch, you can do so. It's Dustbuster, D-U-S-T-T-B-U-S-T-E-R. All the pertinent links will be down below in the description of this video. Talk to you next time.